save the St George side, led onto the field by their skipper Craig Young. And an interesting team with a new centre combination of uh, Shane McKellar and Brian Johnston, not to be confused with fullback Brian Johnson. A good halfback combination of uh, Trudgett and Morris. And the interesting thing, a move in the forwards, Graham Wynn going to lock. Rod ready to the second row. Well, there's Brian Johnson, and he's certainly a, a great fullback. Uh, we, we always remember his performance in that grand final last year. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of him, particularly chiming in amongst his centres. So now the South Sydney side being led out by Rocky Laurie, their versatile skipper who will be playing halfback. The interesting selection here, Grant Jones goes to fullback with Eric Ferguson uh, withdrawing from the team and Rocky Laurie having to take over there as half. Back to Dowling. It should be a very interesting f five minutes because uh, South's uh, uh, certainly a, a very physical side. They're, they're very fit. Mick Suter, their, their trainer. Scott, look fit. at that great break. And Stevie Morris, he's the will of the west. He's the way over the quarter line. He'll score. He'll score a great try to Steve Morris in the first minute of the game. It was set up by Craig Young, the skipper, and Stevie Morris finished it off. What a great try. Stewart. Out through Smith. Squadrito, a little kick over the top. Squadrito's there first, but yes, it's a try. A try to Joe Squadrito. Stewart. He's going to play just short of the halfway to Smith. It's Tunks. Tunks had support, got it back nicely to right. Laurie. Dummy to Squadrito and picked up Niscott. South do this uh, style of play so well to let go, and they do well to keep it going too. This is Tunks and Crit down the blind side. Swift on the far wing. Now Peak, Swift. Swift through, he'll score. He's over. A try out of the blue to South Sydney to their right winger, Jim Swift, and it's six points to five. Exactly what I'm saying. South's ball, halfback Laurie. Stewart. Twenty-four metres out. Hamley. Hamley's broken right through, looks for support. Knocked forward. And out over the dead ball line. Tunks trying very hard to get through there. Back to Stewart. Peak. Out wide to Fay. And a knock on to both sides. Only five metres away from the goal line. The south ball. Laurie's in. He's over to score. The simplest of tries to Rocky Laurie. That makes it 11 5. And how simple. Dowling. But he did the sensible thing, just held onto it, didn't look to unload it. Smith up the blind side. Easily caught by Stone. He's playing well, Smith. He's varying his play. Uh, he's running from dummy half, uh, unloading the ball. We did see him earlier when he made that break up the centre to put the, uh, his supports through. Here's Laurie. Got it away nicely, good backing up. Jones got it inside. And Pete got it away again. Laurie onto Swift. Swift's very fast, he'll go for the corner. Got it to Jones, fullback Jones is in. And South Sydney are tearing St George apart, 14 to 5. I wouldn't like to be a fly on the wall uh, when uh, Harry Bath starts on uh, what he thinks of the St George performance because it had been me. Uh, they're behind four tries to one. It's been south all over. The St George forwards have not tackled. They've made far too many errors as we're... They're all bunched up south, and there you can see them. Two-thirds of the side are all in that ruck area. Here's Fred. Straight down the centre. Fred is up close to the line. Stewart. Stewart's forcing his way over. He's there. It's a try. Ken Stewart, the hooker. And that just about seals it for St George. A simple try and uh, Stewart finding... Yeah, well, as I said, uh, South Sydney victory, but of course there's uh, quite a time to go yet. There's about 15 minutes to go in this match, but uh, I'd be very surprised if South Sydney could get away with this. There's look a look break. break of Niskov. St George are not tackling. Neskov went almost... 12 minutes to go in the game. 21 points to 7 the score. Halfback Morris feeding the scrum for St George. And Laurie's straight through. This is going to be a try. Lucky Laurie, try number two under the post. And 
no, I don't. And on the fifth tackle, right in front of the posts. Shot for field goal, it was smothered. Squadrito has it, tackle came to Swift. Jim Swift about eight metres out. Niscott, strong, powerful centre, can't force his way over. And uh, there's going to be a penalty there. Graham Wynn has played very well and uh, he's had an excellent game, I feel, but uh, everything he's tried has been nullified by this excellent South Sydney defence. Even now, with only minutes remaining in the game, South have got this great straight line, they're moving up, uh, they're, they're cramping the style of the St George players, one underneath, one over the top, it's been great stuff. That's been the secret of the South success here today. They've played a great team effort, a great team game. Right in front of the South's pace, St George ball, Young, got Morris going with him, Morris's three-wheel score. Stevie Morrison again to uh, some discomfort, I might add, apparently. But a just line. Win. Made a good break. Flipping the ball back behind him and uh, surrendered possession. Souths have it through Stewart. And there it is, it's all over. A great win to South Sydney, defeating St George 26 points to 12 after they'd led by 14 points to 5 at half time. For South Sydney, two tries to Laurie, one each to Squadrito, Swift, Jones and Stewart and Smith landed four goals from seven attempts. For South Sydney, both tries scored uh, for St George, both tries scored by Steve Morris, Graham win three goals from three attempts. The scrums favoured Saints by 10 to 7. The penalties favoured the Saints.